So, hello guys, today we're at the a, a river at Rosebury, Tasmania. I think it's actually the Stitt River. Connects to the Pyman. Haven't caught anything yet today, but we're planning on catching something. Uh, it's a bit gunky today, bad weather, but it's start to clear up as you can see, like it was raining earlier on. This is Josh, my mate Josh. Yeah. Goes pretty far upstream, but then it goes about a couple of kilometres um, downstream, and you connect to the Pyman, and the Pyman's a great place to go fishing. <coughs> Today we're uh, fishing for trout and. I think it's brown trout and rainbow trout we're fishing for today, isn't it, Josh? Yep. Already got a snag by the tree over there. Lost me um good deep diver. Yeah. <coughs> um. Yeah, well, I might have a cast then. Uh, right, um, this is Josh on the vlog cam here. Um, we're out at the Pyman, I'm um, not the Pyman, the stip fishing. This is Joel having a cast. And, and girls. As you can see, we crossed over here. But it kind of didn't really end well because I kind of just got like muddy feet. Like muddy just all the way up to the ankles. And right over here we have the tree where Joel lost his lure. You could probably quite see it's that orange thing right there. Right there. As you can see on the stream. It's really slippery down here because the water's been up. Yeah, it's coming really fast down there. It's really dried up and cleared up. The sun's already came out for fire. Yeah. Alright, so It's not flowing as fast as it was before. But we are coming out tomorrow as well, I think. Yep, and we might make a vlog then too. As I'd just like to come over here and show you what can get washed up in this in these rivers right over here we have probably wouldn't be expecting this but we have a pram yeah a pram and a big tree it's really overgrown since last time we were down here I haven't been down here for about two, two to three years. It's really overgrown. Really overgrown. Really muddy. I'm just using a soft plastic power bait minnow. It has a nice gold texture to it, so it's pretty good when it's. Oh, no, probably not that good for today because it sort of blends in with all the debris in the um, water, but. In like the summertime and the water's all clear up, like it's all gives a bit of a shine to it. So the gold bottom of it, as you can see. And the this are actually cop some because they're pretty cheap as well, about $9 for uh, 15 pack. And they have a good scent to them. You can feel your fish a lot, a lot easier. Oh yeah, just give us a sniff there mate. Oh yeah, they smell they smell, I don't know. I wouldn't have them in my house, but they smell alright. Fish should like them. Another good one's the um, nymphs from Strike Tiger, and I personally like the gold and black ones. And I also like the mint ones, so that's like the green ones with like pumpkin seeds or something in them. But yeah. I'd like. The green ones are good for lakes, not really good for rivers, but the black and gold are definitely good for bigger rivers or some of that. Right, I'd like to show you what I've got today. I've got some random beach rod that I found in my shed and I've got, oh if I can grab me, I've got this, this lure, I don't exactly know what it's called, 
I think it's a deep diver, I'm not sure. If it'll focus there, it'll show you the colours. Come on, focus. I doesn't really want to focus, but on that I've got I've got two sinkers all the way down because it's pretty light, and I'll try. See, that's what I've got. That'll focus now. That's what I've got. I think it's a deep diver. I'm not quite sure. I'm not really into. It's my first time trout fishing, so I'm not really sure. I'm more of an ocean fisher. Let's go check back up on Joel and see how he's going. How are you going, Joel? Have you caught anything yet, mate? Oh, just a couple of leaves. Yeah, it's about all we've caught. It's a bit, it's a bit junky today, like, like, a bit rough as well, as you can see, so on the rack up there. Oh, Rackers yeah. It's worse when you go up stream more. Oh, yeah. You've caught more than leaves, too. You've caught a tree, actually. Yeah, tell me about that as well. Yeah. It's still a freaking dead diver, isn't it? Yeah. I caught... I've been around this summer, though. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful cast there, Mr. Ling. As you can see, we're down in a valley. This old house is up in there. Up through there. You could... No, you can't see the power lines. It's really rainforest in here. It's, such, it's a beautiful place down in here. Yeah. We're actually, local. actually, like, yeah. I ca I kind of did get my lure caught in that tree there. It's a bit hard to get out, but then, yeah. Gonna have to beep that out. There, what you just said there, mate. Can't have that on the channel. See, that's it. That's how slippery it is. There, I just slip it over, almost. That's how slippery it is. And when we tried to cross the river over here, the little stream, I kind of, it was worse, I did kind of wash my feet. But I'm not, it's quite muddy. I did wash them over there in a little puddle. It's actually really soft, really deep footprints there. Yeah. So, you want to end off the vlog, Joel, with anything? Yeah, um, um, I think we'll show you the track that we had to climb now. Yep. Make sure to, so yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, subscribe and comment. Turn on, um, turn on notifications just so you're notified whenever we upload the fishing content. Yeah. Catch his mate.